It was lovely to meet you. Hey, Ben. Thanks for coming on. Oh, uh, I've got something for you. Stay there. Okay, cool. Hot topics. Hot topics. Hot topics. With Imogen. With Imogen. With Imogen. Thanks, Ben. Welcome to Big Brother's Little Brother. It is, um... Dear idiot, 1.47pm. And the time is 1.47pm. Well, Friday night, didn't we have it all? We had jeers, we had cheers, and we had bucket loads of tears, and not to mention snogging, lots and lots of snogging. But in amongst all the tonsil tennis, let us not forget that the Welsh rabbit Imogen became the uh, unlucky 13th housemate to be evicted from the Big Brother house. She, my friends, is... Ben Cool, totally cool. She is... Ben Cool, totally cool. Very strong, in a non-strong way. Uh, but do not worry, because there's a, uh, no danger of a housemate shortage this week, as she was swiftly replaced by Nikki, who was the chosen one from the house next door. She is back. <laughs> She's back! Yeah. Thank you very much. But it wasn't simply a case of one out, one in on Friday. As XXX housemates Grace, Mikey and Leah made an exit moment later. And this time, it was for good. Probably. Uh, on today's show, we are joined by the exquisite Imogen, while the luscious Leah is also on the sofa to tell us how she feels about being so close and yet so far. And comedy actor Matthew Horn's in the camera runs as well. Hi. Hello, Matthew. How are you? Yeah, great. How are you? Not bad at all. I know it's very early days, but at the moment, what are we seeing in there? Uh, we're seeing the uh, housemates in the pool, and uh, there's a cowboy called Richard sat on the uh, chair just next to them. He's just been uh, wiping it down, so there's obviously been some kind of hideous accident. Very strong. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Matthew. Uh, keep them keep them peeled, stay frisky, and we'll be back with you later on, all right? Bye. Wonderful. All that coming up the first week off the show, as we always do, ladies and gentlemen, with Little Brother's Big News. Get out! <laughs> at 4.36 yesterday, Big Brother set the housemates task to find out who was the slowest. Take a look at how they got on. Today, housemates will get on their bikes as they take part in Big Brother oh, no, Slow it? Bike Race. The housemates who complete the course in the slowest time will be the winner and will be rewarded with a luxury winner. prize this the evening. Time. Slowest. slowest time. Oh! 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 Ah, ah, I don't like it. You don't like it? How come? Come on, Ash. I am. <laughs> 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 so, the two finalists took part in a Welsh-English cycle-off to determine who was the slowest rider, but there, of course, can only be one winner, and at 6.03, this happened. Here we go. Very good. Very good. <laughs> good boy. <laughs> Oh, oh no. okay. <laughs> 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 He's a man. Pete, you are the winner of the <laughs> So, Pity Boy won. Now, I've heard of bad losers, but bad winners is just ridiculous. But at uh, 10.08, Pete's winner's party was in full swing. Woo-hoo. Hello, Pete. Hello. Is it all right if I have my prize tomorrow? <laughs> What's wrong, Pete? I, I am absolutely spangled. <laughs> and why is that? I was up all night kissing a gorgeous young lady. <laughs> I'm scared the prize is some sort of big do. Where there's people I don't, I'm just, I just don't think I can manage. <laughs> I'm really scared. I can't do it. <laughs> I don't like it. I'm tired, I want to go to bed. I just wanted to stop! Just after that, however, the booze arrived and then everything was just fine. 
And that was Little Brothers Big News. <laughs> Later on, uh, Emojan is going to be joining me on the sofa. So if you have any hot topics, hot topics, hot topics for a finesse last call us now. You know what's called. Cool. Hey you, call BBLB on 09911 101 101. Or text us, text studio and your comment to 83188. Or email us at bblb at channel4.com. Uh, so, she was the sixth uh, housemate to enter the Big Brother house, the 13th housemate to be evicted. It may be unlucky for some, but now she can take a leaks in private. Hey. <laughs> that wasn't bad from a Welsh crowd, you know? It's Imogen! Hello, lovely. Hey, Thank you. Thank you, Steve. Nice to see you. Oh, Imogen. Now, your reaction to your name when your name was called on Friday was quite unexpected. I thought you'd be gutted. Were you genuinely pleased? Oh, I couldn't wait. Honestly, couldn't wait. I wanted to come out this week. I was really sad to miss my family, you know, and I was like, I want to go, and that's it. After, because I saw you in the car park on Friday, just as you were leaving. Yeah. And, and you just said to me, do you know what, Dermot, the one thing is, I, I just got bored of talking to the same people over and over and yeah. over. Yeah, yeah, it's not bad. No, it's not bad. It's <laughs> totally understandable. You know, it's a lot of people in there, but it's a long old time, isn't it? I just wanted to go and sit in the diary room and just not talk to anyone. Just sit there. But in, in yeah. retrospect, though, are you a bit disappointed because it was a final week and it's just like, almost like the going out in the semi-final and you're not going to have finale night or you're not bothered? No, not bothered, because you know what? Next Friday, six people are leaving. I, don't want, I didn't want that. I wanted... All about whole, me on the Friday. It's all about me. Yeah. Really. <laughs> I wanted who be, be, be everything. Well, so. well, good for you. Thank and you very I'm much. I'm glad I've had that. Um, how, how did, um, how did the, the crowd reaction make you feel? Because it was a good reaction. Yeah, yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was really, really good. I, I just got out and I went... I want to see my mommy. <laughs> I was just like, I don't know, it's just mad. She's understandable because I've seen the uh, image of the mum and she's. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, she's off, yeah. Okay, let's take a look <laughs> at those first few hours out of the house. Seven days from the end. Is that yeah. annoying? I did want to get in the final, but I miss my parents so much. And your mum. And there was that butt clenching moment when you were reunited with Grace because I was like, ooh, ooh. It was the Mikey flirting. Ooh, oh, I can't look. Were you nervous about that? Bit. 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 Me and Mikey had a flirt, whatever, but I never fancied him, like, in that way. Imogen bids. I've been a babe of the housemates. Imogen! Who do you think is more vain, you <laughs> or Richard? Richard, of course. Of course, like, I mean, you've seen him. What do you think of Glyn's chances are of winning the series? Big, big, big. And I hope he does. <laughs> Bye! Babe. I absolutely love you. I haven't seen ages and I can't wait to see you. I can't wait to see my family friends. I'm really excited. <laughs> 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 Hello, Hello. Hello. So you've been out for a little while. Um, what are you missing most about being in the house? Um, no responsibilities. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's <laughs> funny, that's a weird answer. Wait, yeah. Did you feel like there's a lot of responsibility when you're in the house? No, there's none. Yeah. I mean, do you mean what have I missed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, it's a weird answer, but just that whole, the whole notion of just being relaxed, so, so relaxed that, what, everything's been taken care of. You've been yeah, taken care yeah. of. Yeah, yeah. Like, when I was in the house, I just felt like I had nothing on me, you know? Sure. But then, towards the end, I started to worry about things. No, I, yeah, I just so then it was like, just... yeah, only towards the end, though. But the whole time I was in there, I was totally fine, relaxed. OK. It's great. And, and what do you think about Ashleen's reaction to you going? Because oh, she was almost like you were, you were going to your death. I know. It's terrible, really, isn't it? <laughs> I know, I felt like I'm not dead. You're going to see me next week. Seriously, <laughs> like... OK, bless now, her, bless now her. You're, you're out of the running. Lastly, who are you backing to win? Glyn. You're backing to Glyn to Glyn. win? Would you please go over and, and sign Glyn's yeah. white box for us? Thank you very much for now, Imogen, everyone. <laughs> After the break, our latest employee of the week is going to be uh, speaking up, and I hear he loves the sound of his own voice. We, my friends, will see you in 4.04. <laughs> Uh, 
Hello. Welcome back to Big Brother's Little Brother. It's Dear Idiot. And it's high time we cracked on with the show. Thank you, Marcus. Coming up, we've got something uh, of a rebituary. More on that shortly. It's very upsetting. But first, a lady who's always been very upfront about her feelings, the lovely Leah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Leah, who I might add, is a, a, a trifle worried about her tooth. Is that right? Yeah, it's going to fall out. My crown's cracked. Oh, dear. So if I choke, Midway I'll through conversation, with, yeah. With Do the high mic whatever it is. Gratefully giving you the old yes, Heimlich manoeuvre. that's it. But it's because a lady, it's a lady hugged her so hard, yeah. she cracked her tooth. Yeah. Isn't that right? Yeah. I was, yeah. She, she hugged me and it just went, and it cracked. What sort of a hug was that? <laughs> Listen, you were so, so close to getting back in. Mm. How does it feel to miss out? Gutted. Absolutely gutted. I was like, no, put me back in. You handled it very well. You're yeah, very gracious, fine. Actually. No, but, I'm fine. But um, I thought it was quite bizarre because Richard steamrolled the whole thing. I know. That's dicky for you, bloody queen. Oh, sorry. That's all right. We can, we can just <laughs> about allow that. What, we queen? Are, of course. Very <laughs> sorry about it. Sorry. This. But what was the deal there? Because it was funny because, well, Jenny wanted you in. I know. I think Ashley could have been persuaded. Uh, Pete probably could have been... Well, Pete just never made the decision in his life. I know. And, um, <laughs> but Richard kind of did steamroll the whole thing. It's right. because Nikki just, she um, tugged on the old heartstrings, I think, and, you know, she does care a, a lot about Pete, so that's why. You feel why. betrayed by Dickie? What are you going to say to him when you see him? No, I don't feel... Of course much, I don't. How much did you want to go back in? Was there... I wanted to go in loads because I wanted to cheer the house up, so... Why? What, what in particular don't you like about what's going on in the house at the moment? It's just really low and it's not fun in there anymore and... I don't know, I feel sorry for Ash because she's having a bad time and she needs a hug and just tell her that, you know, don't worry, everything's going to be all right because she's a good girl, mm. so she, she's got nothing to worry about and I can't understand, the, you know, why public don't like her because you know, she's, she's a good girl and I think the world of Ash. Well, really ditto. Yeah. Uh, what was it like being in there uh, second time round? Was it quite weird having all that knowledge that you, you possessed or could you yeah. still just relax? No, still the same. It was wicked when Ims and Richard came over that was that was wicked I loved it because uh, the people that I wanted to go in the house with you know I really do love Jane and Elise uh, uh, I think they're amazing and Spiral as well but I wanted to go in definitely with Mikey because Mikey's hilarious mm. love him to bits I love Grace as well and then obviously Nick but then Dickie came over and Nims come over so it was just like a mad party and what, what, what was it like facing eviction for the second time it's really scary. Is it? <gasps> it was so stupid because you know what's happening. And it's like, well, because it was, he was there and he was like choosing as well, that made you feel sick because it's like, oh, just please choose me, choose me, choose well, also, me. Also, from the, from the very inception, mm. it was obvious it wasn't going to be Mikey and Grace when yeah. they started talking. Yeah. Am, you know, Ashley pretty much put the kibosh on Grace yeah. and Mikey never figured. I don't think that they really wanted to go in anyway because they're happy with the life outside. And, mm. you know, Mikey's just obviously come out and I don't think Grace would have been comfortable going back in because of the Ashleen and, you know, Jenny sure, and stuff, sure. and Pete's not bothered about Grace. It, I and... find it, it was funny that you two were, uh, you just, like you said, you just seemed so scared because yeah. you've, you've been through it before. It's weird because you could hear, because the crowd's there at the door and you can hear them booing. It's like, oh, they're booing. It's like, but they cheered and then they're booing. And it's really, honestly, it's surreal because you can't help the way that you feel mm. and you feel sick. But it's it's still intense walking up the stairs but obviously and walking you, down because again. you're with Grace as well. And yeah, you know she's get it's like oh, and it's like shouting, don't grab, you know, don't boo her, just don't boo her. You look, like, that's the thing. You look like you just weren't bothered. No, you it's like, it on. Uh, um, what what do you think about? And be honest about mm -hmm. this. What do you think about Pete and Nikki being reunited? Honestly, <laughs> give me your take. Thank you. Give me your take on. <laughs> give me your take on this on this week. What do you reckon's going to happen? And keep it clean. I think that. Um, there's going to be arguments because Nikki's going to obviously be having temper tantrums. Um, Jenny won't stand for it. Ashleen's not going to stand for it. Richard's going to be coming in the diary room saying I've made the wrong decision. Um, Pete's. Just... Yeah. How do you think it's going to? How do you think it's going to affect Pete and his chances of winning? I think it's going to damage him. How so? Because he's not doing anything about from kissing Nikki and being in bed with Nikki, and it's just not doing anything. It's just not. But think... Glynn's... Glenn's just funny full stop. From day one, Glenn's been funny and it's been continuous all the way through. Okay. He did a bit in the bath where he was naked and he had like bubbles on. Never laughed so much in my life and well, it's just well, Glenn hilarious. Glenn has spent quite a lot of time naked and with yeah, bubbles on But his he's, he's, he's so funny, so I hope it don't damage Pete. But um, do, you, do you think Nicky could win? Any chance of that? No. None no, at all? No, no. It's one of the boys. 
And lastly, you did say that you wanted Pete to win yeah. when you first came on. Yeah. Do you still want Pete to win? Then? Of course I do, but I want Glyn to win as well. But I'd like Ashleen to win, just to build a confidence That's not an answer well. to the question. I want I all you still to want Pete to win? I yes, of course I do. Win. I want Glyn to win and Ashleen. No, because I like Something quite bizarre is going to happen. I have to happen for a draw. I know. Well, you see, it could be a draw. No, it couldn't be a draw. Why? It could be. What, you're saying that it, it, it could equal amounts of people would have to vote? Could be. Yeah, but it's not likely. But you never know. Where do things have happened? Uh, like your tooth getting cracked. Yeah, like my tooth getting cracked. Okay. See, that was really weird. Well, listen, it's lovely to see you. Thank see you. you and Friday. Tracy on Take Friday. Now, Leah, thought. everyone. <laughs> Left assured, we are giving her the details of an excellent dentist. What an excellent week it's been. Four ex housemates went in, one person became an ex housemate, and two housemates finally got up to some X rated action. Let's relive the experience. <laughs> A click from the storeroom! She was a housemaid who has already received a letter from home. Got a big Got a big The bearer of this ticket gets a free pass to the Big Brother final. Yeah! Since she went into the house, it's like my whole life has turned round for the better. And guess who has been in touch? Your dad. <gasps> I want her to be happy. Uh, yeah. and, and she hasn't been happy. Uh, uh, for ages. Uh, here we go. Whoa. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Please start recording your jingle now. Are you ready? Because I am ready. <laughs> Oh no, I forgot. I have to start again. Hot topics. Hot topics. Hot topics. Yeah. Should Britain clamp down on immigration? The answer is no! So that's the answer to that question. I miss Jane. Nikki and Leah. My Nick Oh my god. Nikki, Leah, Mikey, Grace. Welcome back. Yeah. Grace, why she did that? Did what? What she did to Susie? Do you know, I feel physically sick when I look at her. They know we're here. And personally, I like all of them, but my first vote is for Nikki. If I choose one person, which is Grace, because she is actually a nice girl. Nice people don't throw glasses of water on people. No. The severity of your rule breaking leaves Big Brother with no alternative but to issue you with a severe punishment. Okay. Say I wasn't here. You'd be cuddling up to him, you? Not like this. Shortly, you will enter the house next door where you will remain until one of you is evicted by the public vote on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! only beef I have with anyone is Ashley. We just have to wait and see if I become confronted with her. When she left, Mr. Wet Loads, Papa Loads, eh? Pete, are you talking to Big Brother about love? Uh, yeah. <laughs> As you are 21 today, you have been given the key to the door. Well, I hope you've apologised to Susie for what no, you did to No, I her. didn't. Anyways, moving on. This Look is how ignorant you're like... Well, I can now reveal that the 13th person to be evicted from the Big Brother house is Imogen! Yeah! Oh. You must now decide as a group which one of these, those ex-housemates, will return to the Big Brother house. Oh, We're going with Nikki. Here. We're going to go with Nikki. Oh. Nice. I have fallen for you, Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> Mental week, huh? What's nice going on? Now, on to today's show. We on BBLB feel that uh, this week's Employee of the Week should be seen and not just heard. Unfortunately, he didn't quite agree with us and insisted we conceal his true identity. The Rotter. <laughs> I'm Marcus Bentley, and I'm the narrator of Big Brother. I'll read out loud. 
Grace, Leah and Mickey were voted back into the house next door. I arrive approximately 2 o'clock every day. I meet with a producer who gives me the script. Oh, Marcus, here you go. I go up to my voiceover booth, uh, settle down, get in there and record it. One of the ex-housemates will be moving back into the main house on Friday. Thanks, Marcus. That was absolutely perfect. It takes me about five minutes. Uh, although I'm probably waiting around uh, eight hours uh, every day. It's not like a normal job when somebody can cover for you if you're ill. I have got to be here, because I can't afford anybody to take my job. The original producers of Big Brother were looking for a, a voice, and they got us to sort of record some uh, words, and they liked the way I said chickens. It's a back-to-basics existence, growing their own vegetables, making their own bread and getting eggs from their own chickens and chickens and chickens and chickens. So, thankfully, that got me the job. And chickens. Well, my voice, obviously, is my livelihood and uh, I've got to protect it. I don't smoke. When I go to footy matches and whatever, I can't really uh, cheer out with the rest of the fans. Obviously, people don't recognise my face, but uh, when I'm on the phone, maybe find something. So you read your credit card numbers out and people go, oh, could you, could you say that again? And I go, hang on. It's about the third time I've said this, you know. And then I hear giggling at the end and go, uh, we know who you are. I don't know what the best part of my job is. I just love it all. Everybody's so happy and jolly, and everyone's so into the show and all the characters. It's a great honor being uh, your employee of the week. But do I deserve it? You decide. Well, you should start cheering right now, because it's the people's choice, the Rolls Royce of voices. It's Marcus Bentley, everyone. Yeah. Marcus! Marcus, are you there? Hi, Dermot. I'm oh, here. Oh, Marcus. Well, Marcus, here. Marcus, you're here. You're with us. How, how, how does it feel to be awarded the honour of Employee of the Week, Marcus? It's a privilege. I'm getting all emotional. Oh, can, you, can you say the word all emotional again for me? I'm getting all emotional. Oh, wonderful. Uh, you, you've been awarded the last award of the series. We've saved the best till last, Marcus. How does that in, in particular feel? I don't know. I'm just a bit tearful. I, I, I think I'm the employee of the decade. Oh, my word. <laughs> OK. Uh, and lastly, uh, do people always ask uh, you to record their mobile phone messages, Marcus? Oh, all the time. It's a bit of a nuisance, to be honest. OK. Well, for you, Marcus, we're going to put an end to it once and for all. Everyone, now is the time to put your phones next to the TV and record. It's today. And the owner of this phone <laughs> is really busy. So either leave a message or don't leave a message. You decide. Ah, Marcus. Marcus, if it's not so uh, presumptuous of me, uh, if you don't mind, it just remains me to present you with a coveted Employee of the Week badge and mug, Marcus. Oh, my word. Oh, Marcus Bentley. Uh, as you were uh, 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 uh. No. No, cheering won't be necessary, because it's with great sadness that I bring you some extremely tragic news. Don't mock me. I'm very upset about this. Quite devastatingly, BBLB's much-loved bunny cam has hopped his last hop, burrowed his last burrow, <laughs> nibbled his last carrot. And all because of the dangerous actions of one reckless fool. <laughs> On Tuesday night, a certain housemate chose to use poor Bunny Cam's head <laughs> as a stepladder and render our top secret topiary detective to the archives of BBLB history. For the final time, ladies and gentlemen, please put your paws together for Bunny Cam.
not joking. I'm not joking. I am absolutely properly gutted about that. It's my favourite part of the show. I have to fight for it to be in the first place. Thanks a million, Glenn. Uh, well, Bunny Cab did make it to week 12, so he had a goodings, I suppose. But in a mark of respect, I propose a second silence. Right then. I'm feeling horny again. Let's go over to uh, lovely horny and the camera on. What's going on, Matthew? Oh, so I'm gutted. Oh, the... bless him. Thank you very much, mate. Um, uh, well, all the housemates have been in the pool and uh, Jenny's hair became incredibly tangled. Oh dear. And um, she's been trying to uh, detangle with a brush and some conditioner. It not, doesn't seem to be working, so she's been tearing it apart with her bare hands. OK. <laughs> Two words, split ends. Oh, really? It... Is there a, I was going to say, there's a lot of frazzling at the end there. Oh, it's going to look terrible tonight. And how does she feel about that? Because, she, you know, she's got a temper on her at times, as I get it. I know, she's been beating the mirror. Oh, dear. That's not yeah. good. OK, listen, keep them peeled. Thank you ever so much. You're Bye. looking good. Bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Uh, we'll be getting uh, Matthew horny again uh, very shortly. And also, mm, also be joining Imogen and her loved ones. <laughs> yeah. 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 Culinary delights fresh from the valleys. We'll see you in 344. <laughs> Oh, hello. Uh, welcome back. It's day... Eighty eight. Oh, and the time is? 2.21pm. And how is Marcus? All right? Smashing, love. <laughs> I'm joined at a dinner table by Emerson's uh, friends. Beautiful Susie, oh. she's so lovely <laughs> and cheesy. And Cousin Joe. <laughs> Beautiful cousin Joe, you're at the <laughs> dinner table as well. How are we? All right? Yeah. Mm, lovely mm. stuff. OK. Mm, you this surprised? is lovely. Did you like it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> William, Bob Gab. Were you surprised to see uh, Imogen out on Friday? I was happy to see her out. We missed her. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful Susie, that's not the question I asked. Yeah. Were you surprised to see her out? Um, it was going to be a close one, actually. I wasn't, I wasn't really sure what was going to happen. And it's lovely, obviously, to have a back. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay. Great. What moment in the Big Brother house made you most proud of uh, lovely Imogen? Uh, <laughs> her jingle. It had to be her jingle. It never lasts. <laughs> what, Hot Topics? Oh, give us a rendition of Hot Topics. Mm. Oh, what's the matter? Hot Topics. Hot Topics. Hot Topics. <laughs> hot topics. <laughs> With Dermot. 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 On. <laughs> Now, listen, um, aside from Richard, she was one of the big heavyweights. Uh, she survived eviction four times mm. before. What do you think made her lose out this time? I think people felt bad because she yeah. missed her mum so much. Yeah. Maybe they yeah. sympathised with that and yeah. they just wanted to reunite everyone again. Do you think it was uh, due to uh, the fact that her brother did the uh, eviction plea and not either of you two? Yes. Possibly. Yes. On Friday yes. night's yes. show? Yes. Um, what about you, Imogen? What's your, what was your best moment in the house? What did you enjoy the most? Um, I loved the 80s party. Loved that one. I'll never forget that. The time when we done the prison task mm. because it's so much fun. Seriously, it was just like well, the prison task is pretty mental. much everyone's favourite task. Yeah. Right, yeah. That, that's been watching. Yeah. And, and when you found the the, the tunnel, because oh. I mean that's just oh. above yeah, and beyond the task. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's brilliant. Mm. Uh, and and who would you have picked? Had you had you survived this week and you'd gone back in? Um, who would you, who do you think you'd have picked to join you? Well, you know, there's like, there's like pressure from, from the group to pick Nikki because they're all saying Pete, Pete, Pete. You know, and it's like, oh well. I did want to pick Leah, you know. I'm not just saying that because, like, she's here and in a gap, but I think she deserves, like, a chance to go back in as well. Mm. So it's like Leah. And, like, Mikey, not so much, because Mikey had only just left. So, yeah, sure. You know. And, uh, and Imo, what's the plan now? What are you, what are you, what are you doing this week and stuff? Um, I'm just going to... I'm, I'm quite busy. Yeah, well, yeah I I'm quite you busy, are, you know. What are you going to be? Are you going to be the snappy snappy? Yeah, mm -hmm. maybe, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Give us a little pose. Or like it. <laughs> well, hang on, hang on. Oh! <laughs> no, 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 not doing that once. Over the dinner table. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, whatever career you decide to take, you and your fellow ha uh, housemates have displayed hidden talents in the Big Brother House we couldn't help but notice. Take a look. Talk about love, love, love. And I wanna love you, but I better not. Don't be stop explaining. Don't come, come, come. Because we are living <laughs> in a material world. I know I am a material world. Hot topics, hot topics.
topics, hot topics with Imogen, Imogen, Imogen on Big Brother, Big Brother, Big Brother, Big Brother, Big Brother. Nice. Uh, single anytime soon? Uh, <laughs> now listen, on to the love life. I saw you earlier on going, get over it to Grace. No. So, uh, any hint of jealousy between um, the blossoming relationship between Grace and Mikey? Oh. No. I'm glad I'm at this end of with that, with those daggers Look you're sending that. me. I'm, I'm glad I'm at this end of the table. I'm glad I'm not sat with that, Joe. So what was the deal? Why do you think she was so jealous? Because and me and Mikey are just... Phone, this is it, it, right? Me and Mikey are just friends, yeah. right? Yeah. Just just friends, and yeah, we might have flirted, mm -hmm. but I flirt with all the guys in the house. It's just like a natural thing. I all, I'm quite like touchy person, you know what I mean? And so is he. And obviously because she's seen the outside, I don't know what's been said on the outside. Yeah. I, you know, so I can't comment on that. But I just don't know. Like it was obviously clear that I didn't want anything to happen to but were you. Were you annoyed? That, were you annoyed? Were you annoyed that Grace was worried because you were like, "There's nothing to be worried about." Yeah. Okay. So then when I went back in the other house, I was like, "Ooh, this is a bit awkward yeah. now." Because I could feel the tension, and then when really? she asked me, yeah. she asked me as well, and I was like, "Oh my God, I can't believe you just come in here and ask me that." But after that, did the tension sort of dissipate, or is it still there? No, it's still there because she kept going on about it to him, and I walked in like a few a few times, and I could just see her Imogen, you know, at the end. So obviously, like, it's still playing on her mind and stuff. So sure. okay, now you said in the uh, diary room that you wanted to be, to be remembered as the Welsh girl that smiled a lot, and while you will. You'll also be remembered for the phrase... Babe. Everyone knows it. Now, I know people are banging on about it, but take a look at how many times you said babe in a ten-minute period. Babe, you babe, 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 Oh, I was a bit drunk, man. I had a bottle of wine. <laughs> okay, fair enough. fair enough, babe. To us, you're always going to be the babe of the house. Please stick around. Stick around for the rest of the show. And now, see what you have done. And hello again, Matthew. Hi. How are things, Matthew? This is what I've been waiting for. Okay. It's Nikki and Pete mildly oh petting in bed. Oh my word. There's been no frenching as yet, but hopefully, in the next few minutes, we might see some more action. Do you think, from your privileged position right there, Matthew, that it is true love? Well, I think that um, over the past couple of days we've seen them uh, being very close. Love is most certainly in the air. Mm. Being in the camera run, you can pretty much smell it. OK, wonderful. And uh, any update <laughs> on what's going on with Jenny and her hair? Is she...? Um, no need to worry. She has resorted to plaited pigtails. Oh. So any kind of Russell Brand-esque frizz, gone. The classic get-out clause there, the old plaited pigtails, right? Absolutely. OK, wonderful. Uh, Matthew, you're going to have to come back soon, so we'll see you in just a second, all right? Okay. For now, stay right there, all right? Cool. Wonderful. Matthew, everyone. <laughs> back in about ten minutes' time. He's making the most of it. Uh, being behind the most famous mirrors in the country. We'll see him in a minute. So, we have reached the final week, and come Friday, either Glenn, Jenny, Nicky, Pete, or Richard's going to be crowned the winner of Big Brother 7. Who wins? You decide. He's big in this part up today, isn't he, Marcus? Uh, don't push your luck, Bentley. We will see you in four. <laughs> Finally, you get to decide who will win Big Brother 7. To vote for the housemate you want to win, just give us a call. 99011 3233. And add 14 for Ashley. Add 04 for Glyn. Add 18 for Jenny. Add 10 for Nikki. At 11 for Pete, at 12 for Richard, or text the name of the housemate you want to win to 84444. Who wins, you finally decide.
Yeah, see you in four, four seconds, more like. <laughs> After the break, uh, we'll be going round the hall, and Matthew's going to be joining us. He, I think he might be leaving right now, is he? Oh, he's, we, we have to drag him out of there. He's in there right now, and you'll be discussing your hot topics with him, and we're back in 3.49. See you then. <laughs> Welcome back, it's day. Idiot. And the time is, Marcus? 2.34 p.m. Marcus, what are you doing for the rest of the day? Might just watch a bit of the footy. Marcus, do it in your re scary voice. What are you doing for the rest of the day, Marcus? I might just watch a bit of the footy. Well, oh, brilliant. <laughs> oh, I much prefer the scary voice. Our next guest is someone who's taught us all a lesson about the camera runs and is back in the studio to tell us which housemate he is bothered about. It's action career, comedian Matthew Horn. <laughs> This is a stone, Matthew. Oh, ran out of <laughs> ways to describe you then, and breath indeed. Um, did you enjoy your time in the camera? Uh, it was almost definitely the best thing I've ever done. You, you were really good in there. It was brilliant. It was like being in uh, a very posh zoo. <laughs> yes. Uh, who in particular took your fancy in there from a, a well, touristic quite, point of view? I liked, um, I liked seeing Jenny with the whole hair business. You know, she's getting on because she was quite sad the other day, wasn't she? But she felt like she was being left out. Well, she, she that's her it. kind of problem for the last week, really, isn't it? Is that there's a lot of people that know, them, know, that know themselves very well in yeah. there. And of course, now the whole, because she was kind of having a little bit of flirtation with Pete, and now obviously that's out the window as well. She's going to be gutted about that. Did she that. look a bit sad? She did look a bit sad, and she was sort of eyeing Nicky and Pete as they were frolicking in bed, you know, it was a bit... OK. And, and what was it like being so close to the housemates? Oh, I just wanted to reach out and touch them. It was brilliant. Did it smell of mince in the camera runs? Because, as in, like, mince beef, because I'm fascinated by it. Every time I go in there, it's, even when they're not cooking mince, it stinks of mince. Well, somebody said that it, it stank of mince, but I didn't really smell that. There was a kind of whiff of rabbit food, which may be something to do with the... Um... Oh, no, don't bring up bunny cam, please. <laughs> The bunny going, but um, there was a faint aroma of a kind of mixture of cheese and fish coming from the bedroom. Really. Cheesy fish. Yeah. Uh, okay, so um, <laughs> your thoughts about Friday's eviction? Um, mixed emotions, really, um, because I, I think Rich is a bit of a brute and he's very condescending, so I'd like to have seen him go. Mm. But at the same time, because I'm doing the show, it's really lovely to be near Imogen. Oh, nice. I mean, this is like four metres or something. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's touching distance. Yeah. You could, you could lunge if for I was Mr Tickle. Yeah. <laughs> you could lunge for an hour. <laughs> you could almost make it before security get you. Uh, what do you think of the decision to put Nicky back in? Um, good, because, um, you know, Big Brother is about a competition and um, she is a really big competitor. So it's kind of now a three-horse race, I feel. It's really exciting for the last week. Controversial, though, hasn't it been, with all the fans and so forth? Well, yeah, so I read, but, you know, that might just be the press. I think it's good. It's good to keep it fresh and keep things moving, you know? And what about, what about Leah? Because Leah almost went in the, 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 the house as well. Well, Leah, Nottingham's finest. I like oh. that. <laughs> I was born about three miles from where she lives. Really? Yeah, we've had a chat. Best from Knott's. Best place Knott's. to be. Knott's. Lovely. And Knott's. so were you sort of che <laughs> like secretly cheering for her as well as Nikki? Or? Yeah, of, of course. Yeah, I mean, I, that's the thing about this um, this series. I've pretty much liked everybody, what's apart from Pizzazz or whatever he's called. Pizzazz. <laughs> what's What's been the highlight for you this year then? Uh, the tasks, I think. I think the tasks have been absolutely brilliant this year. What's really, really funny. Was really funny. Pizzazz, that was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I've got other names, but I can't do them. Um, okay, you picked out some of your favourite task-related moments. Let's take a look. Okay. <laughs> Teams must scrub away the bars of soap as quickly as possible in order to reveal a prize token inside. I'm not being scrubbed. <laughs> Imogen, by coming to the diary room, you have selected yourself as the saboteur. Housemates must now step away from the tank. sound of the starting pistol, the task will begin. Glenn, Big Brother thinks that you should slow your pace down slightly. OK. Oh, no. Oh, you swine. Pick the prison task. No, I, I prefer the task when they're all together. I think that separation, I, I didn't quite, I didn't like that so much. Now I know that everyone's saying, oh, be, you know, everyone's 
biased with Glyn because Glyn, Glyn is such a great character. But Glyn in the tasks is hilarious because he's just so unbelievably competitive. That's been his piece de resistance, I think, for, for Glyn. Um, obviously, he won the silent disco test, which I think is probably the funniest thing I've ever seen on TV. <laughs> and he got a really rubbish cup. But with, then blindly was really competitive in, in the, uh, the pedometer task and then got that pint of rank. <laughs> I just don't think yeah. of what's going to happen. Have you noticed anyone in particular uh, letting the side down with the task? Letting the side down? I guess uh, Nikki's probably, the obvious. Uh, probably Ashley. In the camera run, I've just seen her yawn more times than I've ever seen anybody yawn. So I think she tires easily. OK. Yeah. Now, how are we looking forward to the final week and what do you think might happen this week? Um, really exciting week. And I think Nikki going back in has been brilliant for the show. Um, so hopefully, um, hopefully Pete will will win. That's that's my feeling. Mm -hmm. But um, I think there's been some really really strong people this year, and it's just great that everybody's there. Do you think there's any chance? And I, I asked Leah this earlier on. This is a question probably that's just in my mind at the moment. Do you think there's any chance that Nikki's uh, relationship with Pete could damage his chances of winning? Um, I don't think so. He's he is a beautiful man, and I think that will prevail. Okay. So I, I don't even need to therefore ask um, who you're backing, Matthew. Pete. It's got to be Pete. For now, Matthew Horn, everyone. <laughs> Where do you want, Matthew? Knee. Knee? Nice. <laughs> Here we go. Wow, I love it. I love Nicky. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> One more time. Wow, well, I love it. I love Nicky. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm out of listening to that all day. Uh, it's time for Cool BBLB, which is, of course, us. Imogen and Matthew's with us as well. Let's go straight to the phones. Theresa in Croydon's up first. Hey, Theresa, how are you hi. doing? Hi, Dermot. Hi. You all right? Fine, thank you. Go for it. Um, my, hi, Imogen. Hiya. Um, my question to you is, if you could change anything about your time in the house, what would it be? OK. Mmm... That's a hard one. Um, <laughs> I can't think. Anything That's a at hard all? one. Because your lobby will go in there and just say, you know, you don't want any regrets. Maybe the overuse. I've got no regrets. Whatsoever. Overuse of the word babe 34 times in 10 no, minutes? No, that's me. Okay, babe. it's a like trademark, it. Theresa. I have got no regrets. You heard it here first, Theresa. No mm. regrets whatsoever. Good, you did very well. Thank you so much. Ben in Stoke on Trent's next up. Hello, Ben. How you doing, Mick? You alright? Yeah, not bad at all. What's your question, Ben? Hi, Mick, you alright? Hi, Babe. You're looking great there, babe. Thanks, babe. Uh, the question is. <laughs> <laughs> you were quite um, close, close to Ashley in the house. Yeah. So why didn't you stick up for her in the house next door when people were stabbing her in the back? Because, no. babe, when you're in a situation like that, it's really, really difficult. Like, the house is really, really small. I had, like, so much on my mind that week. I just can't be bothered with it. I mean, at the end of the day, I was just so sick of talking to everyone anyway. I just wanted to get on, get on with my own thing and just leave Friday. And done. I'm, I'm going to be friends with Ash when I leave, and that's it. Did you ever get to a moment where you just wanted to get, um, and you, this, this doesn't seem like the sort of person you are, but did you ever have a moment where you just wanted to get Grace and Ashley together and dash their heads together? <laughs> dash their heads together. Um, because you obviously like both of them, but it's, you know, it's just... Yeah, I like both of them, but I like Ash. Oh, OK, brilliant. Uh, Hannah in Camberley. Um, Hello, Hannah. Kiss, kiss. Uh, <laughs> Hello there, Hannah. Hi. Uh, what's your question? My question is, hi, madam. Hiya, babe. How do you feel about people calling you boring while being in the house, and what is your role in the house? Uh, bothered, really. You know, I don't care what people say about me. Fair play. Yeah, um, my role in the house, I didn't have one. Really didn't have one. <laughs> well, <that's laughs> I was just, like, floating around. I didn't even have a role. Lovely. OK, Hannah, are you happy about that, Hannah? Thanks. Bye, Thanks. Hannah. Bye. Whoa there. Lastly, uh, <laughs> no, we haven't got time for Kirsty and Doncaster. Sorry about that, Kirsty. But, my friends, that is all we do have time for. My thanks to Imogen, Leah, and, of course, our special guest, Matthew Horn, everyone. <laughs> and the man, of course, that's all around us. Marcus, where are you? I'm here, Dermot. <laughs> Thank, you ever, thank you ever so much for coming on the show, Marcus. Pleasure. Say, say a, like, a really authoritative bye. Goodbye. Oh! Don't forget, Channel 4 tonight, 9 o'clock uh, tonight for all the latest house action. Big Brain is on tomorrow night, 11.55, and BBL will be back on Tuesday. But this uh, time of the new slot, uh, 6 p.m. on Channel 4, where we remain all week in the build-up to the grand finale. Now, to wrap things up, very excited to introduce you to Colin Ramey, playing us out with the didgeridoo with the jaw harp and take it away, boys! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> my